Hello, I'm Gary McCracken, and I'm Vice President of Technology Partnerships for WinMagic. Welcome to the second whiteboard session in our series. Today's session is going to be about how SecureDoc, WinMagic's product, can manage self-encrypting hard drives. So let's uh, start out and I'll give you a little bit of background first. So the drives we're talking about are TCG, Trusted Computing Group, Opal, self-encrypting drives, SIDS. TCG is the organization that has created the standard for the drives. Um, they have the advantages of transparency, security, and performance over that of normal drives uh, when encrypted with software. But an Opal drive doesn't bring any confidentiality itself um, unless it's been managed by software and that's where SecureDoc comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a logical representation of an unmanaged drive. It, this drive could be a hard drive, an HDD, or a solid state drive, doesn't really matter. There it can be managed equally well by SecureDoc. Then there's representation we have logical block addresses. They're each of the sectors on this drive is numbered for, starting with from zero all the way up to max LBA. And on this drive, somewhere on this drive is Windows 7. I'm going to do Windows 7 in my example today. And there's a master boot record down at LBA zero. So when you turn this drive on, it boots up into Windows 7, and then, you know, that's all there is to it. But you have no confidentiality. Even though it's always encrypting, there's no authentication, so you have no confidentiality for your data. This is where SecureDoc comes along. At the central server, SES, a package is created, and it is downloaded into Win7, and SecureDoc runs. And when SecureDoc runs, it determines if this is a, an Opal drive or a normal drive. If it's an Opal drive, um, then it'll start its management. If it's, a software, if it's a normal drive, then it'll encrypt it in software. But let's say it's an Opal drive. So the first thing it does is it, one of the first things it does is it creates something called an MBR shadow. MBR shadow. The MBR shadow is off the map of the drive. It's inaccessible to the operating system. Once it creates the MBR shadow, it loads down into the MBR shadow the pre-boot authentication code and locks the drive. When the drive is locked and then powered off, it would appear like this to an attacker. It would appear like it was all zeros, except the MBR shadow that we created that was previously off the map is now mapped into the first 128 gigabytes, 128 megabytes, sorry, of drive. Now when this computer turns on, the BIOS sees the altered MBR shadow, executes the PBA, PBA does a pre-boot authentication, gets a username or password or a smart card or something, and it unlocks the drive, and then the computer, the drive then appears as it did originally to the operating system, to Win7, and the original MBR reappears, the computer can boot up, and you can enjoy all the normal um, advantages of SEDS of this now, transparency, security, and performance. Thank you.